is it true? <clears throat> what? You've told enough lies. I want to know, is it true? OK, not here, eh? I held your hand at that clinic. I talked things through with you for hours. I deserve to know. What's that, baby John's? It's not what you think, Taya. It happened once. Is that supposed to make me feel better? No, but believe me, it's not what I wanted. Believe you? Yeah, you know what he's like. Yeah, I thought I did. He gets an idea in his head and he pushes and pushes. And all the time he's got that sickly smile on his face like what he's doing can't ever be wrong. I don't get you. Look, I'm sorry. I flirted with him. But, I mean, that's OK, innit? You can do that with your mates, blokes. It's safe. I didn't think for a second he'd take it seriously. Well, he obviously did. It's my fault. Should have tried harder to stop him. How do you mean, stop him? Afterwards, I couldn't believe it. I couldn't believe I'd let it happen. Why do you think I kept avoiding you? I felt so ashamed. I don't... Are you sure about this? John. What did he say? He said it was a mistake. So he admitted it? Yeah, but he knew what he was doing. Are you all right? It's just a, it's a shock, that's all. I can't quite take it in. Why didn't you say, Maria? This is me you're talking to. Well, don't you see? That's what makes it worse. After everything that you've been through, how could I drag you down again when you were so happy? With John. Yeah, with John. I hate him now for making me feel like this. Even just being in the same room as him, acting on Mr Nice Guy with you when I know. Did you really think you could just brush it under the carpet? Yeah. Sometimes a lie's better than the truth, isn't it? Better for who? Better for him, maybe, not for you. You were pregnant. Oh, sorry. Sorry, don't, don't be like this. Don't be decent about it. I don't deserve it. Well, that's what he wants you to think. I'll get angry, scream and shout, but please, you can't be understanding. Angry? Angry's nothing. I'm sick to the bottom of my stomach. I never meant you to get hurt, Toya. Where are you going? What do you think? This wasn't a mistake. You can't just walk away like nothing's happened. Toya, wait, you can't go on your own. Toya! Are you all right, love? Betty, I've got to go out. No, no. Hold your horses, I'm not happy dinner yet. It won't take long. Come on. Oh. What's up with you? Oh. You're all giddy. Oh, well, it's my 16th birthday. My math teacher's got a flu. Supply teacher's down with a flu. <laughs> and my boyfriend has got a double free period. <laughs> As my mum is saying. <laughs> Bingo. <laughs> you know my first lieutenant, don't you, Joe Carter? Adam Mooney. <clears throat> Watch and learn. We are in the presence of greatness. He's been head -hunted. Really? Oh, yeah. Fletcher's this week. Amani next. <laughs> well, I'm glad to see you taking this so seriously, Mike. Oi! You just don't keep your big mouth shut, could you? Don't Blame me. Of course I blame you. I thought you were meant to be Toya's mate, Fizz. Yeah, and so are you. Born you any soon. Hey, you two, do your own on your own time, please. Uh, shut up, Ailey. This is just getting interesting. And what's he got to do with our Toya? Look, you outside. You back to work. Come on. Right, I'll see you later. No, you'll see me now. Oh, situation firmly under control, Ailey. Ha-ha, <laughs> nice one, eh? Fizz! Come on, everyone. Back to work, all of you. Ailey, call it time in low. What's up? Come on. If you're gonna drag our Toya into things, you're gonna drag me in and all. It's got nothing to do with Toya, Janice. Just go back to work. Well, it didn't look like that to me. She's right. It's summer and now. Yeah, so it's just flat business, so unless you fancy chipping into the kitty. Oh, do you know, it's no wonder our Toya wants to move in with that, John. It must be like Beirut round your place. Wind your neck in, Janice. Oh, I'm going. I'm going. But you two had better sort yourself out. Sharpish. Our Toya won't always be there to referee, you know. Bet. You're dead when she finds out, you know. But you think Toya's going to be broadcasting it, do you? Because I don't. She was gutted. I can't believe she didn't rip the face off you. No, she didn't. She was weird. And you're surprised? 
No, I mean, really weird, Fizz. Like, she kind of felt sorry for me. You what? Yeah, but mad with John. Like, she wanted it all to be his fault. Yeah, she's got a downer on fellas, hasn't she? One raped her, one tried to marry her to get her passport. Now, it turns out the big intellectual one keeps his brains in his trolleys. Do you really blame her for thinking they're all as bad as each other? It was more than that. Oh, my God. She thinks he's raped me. Is that what you said happened? No, was it Ick? She's obviously just put two and two together. And you've let her make five. You can. Hey, what's up? Your bottle's gone. <laughs> Yours has. I've gone through a gallon of mouthwash since we got here. Thought that was your perfume. <laughs> no. But oh, that's definitely Richard's aftershave. Cool, aren't I? I think so. Right, you're a Hitchcock, and you're filming Tilly here. What are you going to go for? Shall we see? Yeah, and? Cleavage. Good. Lots of cleavage. Saxophone playing. Good. Sexy music, good. Where's Tom here? Are we going to see him? Hi. Hey. Don't mind me. This is Toya, everyone. Uh, news of my fame spreading. <laughs> Enjoy. Won't last forever. Where were we? Oh, the male gaze. Yeah, I remember this one. Not that I churn out the same material from year to year. <laughs> Poor Tilly. No, the sequel's much better. She finds out what Tom's been up to with her mate and cuts his head off. Kind of. If uh, Thelma and Louise meets Texas Chainsaw Massacre. See you next week. Bye. Bye. I know about Maria. I'm sorry. Truly, it was a big mistake. So you admit it? I swear, it was a one-off. We had a few drinks. That doesn't excuse it, I know. What made you think you'd get away with it? She was pregnant! I felt bad about that, really, I did. Yeah, not enough to help her through it. Enough to pay for the abortion. She didn't tell you about that. You're a gent. You thought that'd get you off the hook. I thought it was fair. In the circumstance. And the pregnancy was what convinced me. See, Maria's been around the block. She sleeps with who she likes, when she likes, but she's always careful. She'd never, ever have sex with you, with anyone, without protection. Not willingly. Willingly? Do you know what you're implying? Implying? No. Saying. You raped her. Come on. You raped her. Says who? She does. It's a lie. You don't believe her, do you? Yeah, you would say that. Hey, how desperate are you to hang on to your mates? Because you've backed the wrong horse, Sawyer. A woman who sleeps with her best mate's bloke. A woman who cries false rape, knowing full well that kind of talk could ruin my career. Right on, sister. Just because you didn't hold a gun to her oh, head. Oh, slogan. Doesn't mean it wasn't rape. Yeah, real. You don't even know what you're talking about. <laughs> Mad bitch, what are you doing? Get off! Get off me! Toya. Come on then. Let's get real. Because this is what men and women really do when the mask slips. Hurt each other. Hurt each other and get off on it! Toya, please. There was a bloke. He jumped me. In an alley. Rape me. Beat me up. Knock me out. Do you know what the worst thing was? I knew him. Poor old Phil. One of life's losers. I'd helped 
with him. This was how he repaid me. And then when they told me the truth, for weeks, for months, I thought it was my fault. Wrong clothes, wrong signals. It made me hate myself. I'm sorry. I had no idea. And you've done that to Maria. You didn't use a weapon, you didn't beat her up. But you raped her. And she blames herself. Well, I don't. I blame you! You all right? Yeah. Yeah. Sarah, it's fine. No, it's not. I don't want to mess you around. You're not. I am. Who says? The packet of condoms in your pocket says. Have you been going through my jacket? I wasn't looking. I went to hang your coat and you fell out. I'm sorry. They were just... I wasn't presuming. I just don't want to be like Neil Ferns, that's it's all. hard. Can we forget about him? Well, yeah, maybe you can. But I can't. I just wanted things to be right. And I didn't want to get caught out. I've wrecked it now. No, I have put my big foot in it. I'm just nervous, that's all. Sarah, I can wait. As long as you want. I just want to be with you, that's all. I want to be with you too. I love you. Well then. When are we ever going to get the house to ourselves again? My 60th, maybe. They'll pass the sell-by date by then. Well, it seems a shame to waste them. <clears throat> I need to know. Did Maria put you up to this? Or was it you? Was it revenge? Who's pulling whose strings? No one. We were moving in together. They reckon ignorance is bliss. Why didn't she try and stop you? If I'm as bad as you say, her and Fizz, why didn't they protect you? Has that never crossed your mind? I'm racking my brains all the times we made love. Was I ever rough with you or cruel? How can you believe I want to, need to, rape someone? That's what people always say. Please, ditch the speeches. What exactly did Maria say to you? It's not what she said. It's how she feels. Think, Toya. This is important. Did she use the word rape? Did she say I was... Aggressive? Violent? What? Or was that you? Misreading what she'd said. Putting your own spin on it. I don't know. Perhaps? Perhaps. I just need your paw print, Mr. Baldwin. Oh, oh I see. Fizz is back at the machine. Let's hang the flaming flags out. Now where the hell's Karen? She nipped over tea bags. To China? Tell you what, Ailey. I'm gonna propose a new pilot scheme. How about we sack you and replace you with a sheepdog? Okay, stitching might not be much cut, but at least it'll know how to round the girls up better. Uh, thank you, Hayley. I hope you're gonna apologise for that. Oh, great. So, uh, <clears throat> now I'm not even allowed my own opinions. Opinions, yes. Insults, no. Fact. She's a weak leader, she can't control the team, and the team are taking a mick. Fact, you got your knickers in a twist and you're taking it out on her. It's a snide trick, and I'm not standing for it. And neither would your mate, Fletcher. I'm getting sick of this, Mike. Yeah, so am I. Now you go out there and say you're sorry. Go on.
Roy daft. <laughs> we all know that, though. Well, if he done act fast, the unit will have gone. That's just the frustrating thing is that I'm doing the guy a favour. I, I mean, I could double his profits overnight. And the rest. And we still need a place that does a decent latte. <laughs> and a more exciting sandwich than egg. Yeah, yeah tell me about it. Well, he needs me. Yeah, but do you need him? I've been here for five minutes and you can go and ask Ayla and you had to go and get these from the storeroom especially. It's not my money you're wasting. I'll have a bottle of malt too. Yeah. A little bit early for that, I know. Yeah. And it's either this or take up boxing with Baldwin as the punch bag. Well, just ignore him. That's what we do with you. Look, call me old-fashioned Karen, but uh, I care. About Baldwin? About Underworld. Baldwin is Underworld. When he's a dinosaur, mate, you should be running rings around him. Yeah, won't have had any sense. I'll be running rings around Stuart Fletcher. We don't know each other at all, do we? No. Why did you choose Maria? I didn't expect your loyalty. I didn't deserve it, but neither did she. How self-obsessed can you get? Is this some kind of a joke to you? I'm laughing. Look. You have got some massive issues, Toya. You need to get them sorted. False accusations, they're the reason real rape victims... Survivors! Are... We're called survivors. You're still a victim. And you're a disgrace. Still hasn't registered, has it? An accusation like that is every man's oh, knife. Stop! <clears throat> Student counselling service. You're offloading me. I kind of think the relationship's run its course. <laughs> yeah, I kind of think so too. So is that it then? Is that all you've got to say? You thought I was a rapist. What else is there to say? I made a mistake. Hallelujah. You're a cheat and a liar. Does that sound better? Let's have a look at your thesaurus. Do you know, you can sit here analysing works of art till you're blue in the face, John. But you want to look inside yourself. You're not some sensitive academic. You're cold and cruel and unbelievably selfish. And I pity the next poor student who ends up with you. Sorry, Tilly. No, 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 no. It's, it's just the occasional tinnitus in, in, in this here. I've had another chance to think about the air cuff. I'm not a man for second thoughts. I well, wouldn't be wearing the anorak. Look, I'm not trying to do the hard sell, but I really think you're missing out on a golden opportunity here. Well, yeah, but balancing the pros with the cons, I, I would have to disagree with you. And is that your final word? I'm afraid it is. Well, that's a shame, because I'd hate to see a good little business go down the drain just because you're in a bit of a rut. No, you're misunderstanding me. Well, no, you're misunderstanding me. It's been staring me in the face. If you're not going to open the space up, well, I think I should. It's a cafe. Well, different ends of the market, obviously. But it's bound to make a dent in your profits. Look, the ball's in your court. Let the best cook win, eh? I'll be back any minute. I thought David was at football. Yeah, but my mum, though, fussing around putting candles on cakes, just be my luck for it to walk in on us. Are you trying to get rid of me? No. Well, yeah, I suppose I am, really. Was everything OK? How do you mean? I don't know. You're rushing me out. For all your mum and Richard know, we could have been sat here doing homework. What? Since when did homework put a smile on my face like that? It was all right, then? It was brilliant. Better than the first time? It doesn't count. You were my first time. Hope it's not the last. Now stop fishing for compliments and go! Right. <laughs> Come on! Oh, I'll see you later, right? Right! You all right, bro? So, uh, did Sarah like a birthday present? No. Did you? Nice one, bro. What's wrong? Oh, 
that. I'm, I've made such a fool of myself. <laughs> oh. Oh. Mr. Baldwin, hello. Mr. Baldwin, I'm just wondering if I could have a quick word. Can't it wait? I'm hey. in a bit of a rush. Well, not really. Hey, it's just I need a, to talk uh, to you. In a second, Roy. It's just about what Mr. Coyce was saying this afternoon. Roy, uh, it's just having a lot on my plate recently. Well, everyone's entitled to an off day now and then. No, but listen, it's what... Listen, your friend Kieran setting up in opposition. He wants to buy the hardware shop and run it as a cafe. Oh, Shirley Temple. Now, no time for tantrums. I've got business to run. This won't take long. You bet it won't. Oh, no, Mate, you're always banging on about the debt I owe you for dragging me out of the gutter. You've got a very short memory, that's all I can say. Don't make me laugh. What about Khan, Stoddarts and all the other satisfied customers? Do you know something? You wouldn't know loyalty if it jumped up and bit you in the face, would you? But that's fine. Because it's every man for himself, innit? And I'm off. Oh, grow up. I have. I just spoke to Fletcher an hour ago. I start there on the 3rd of March. I thought I'd put it all behind me, but I haven't. Well, when Phil Simmons raped me, he didn't just take sex, or whatever you want to call it. He took a part of me. He changed me. I know. You wear it, don't you? What don't kill us makes us stronger. Well, you wear it. Don't make it true. Not, not in my experience. Mine neither. I've been stupid and gullible. Well, I'll get over it. Of course you will. It's more than that. I've been kidding myself. I can't go back. You know, the old Toya. The real Toya's gone. Dead. The Toya I am today. That's what I'm stuck with. And I hate it, ma'am. I hate what you've left me with. 